after a minor stumble at the block, the San Miguel Beermen are savoring the effects of a sprinting finish. The manner by which they advanced to the PBA Commissioner's Cup finals may not have been as conventional as before, but the Beermen have no complaints, taking it rather than watching others chase the ultimate prize. The Beermen are pleased to be back in the finals for the seventh time in three years, even after three consecutive defeats, to start the mid-season conference and chances of actually missing the playoffs looming at the midway point of the eliminations. We're very thankful because we're able to catch up at the right time, said San Miguel coach Leo Austria, after completing a semi-final series win over Alaska with a 104-99 triumph Sunday night at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Hopes were high that the Beermen will easily find a path to the crown after winning the Philippine Cup last April and top overall pick Christian Stand Hardinger joining forces with Yoon Marfa Hardo, Arwin Santos, Chris Ross, Marcio Lassiter and Alex Cabagnet. Instead they immediately ran into a wall dot at 0-3, everybody was so scared and worried about our situation. So it happens that we changed our import with Ronaldo, Bachman and the players started to become inspired because of what he showed in the first game against Alaska, he added. Bachman came around in the conference's third game in Dumaguit City, replacing the ineffective Troy Gillenwater. But a winning debut didn't happen as the Beermen fell 105-103 to the Aces on Vic Manuel's buzzer-beating runner. The loss, however, seemed to be the turning point of San Miguel's turnaround. San Miguel won six of the next eight games to finish sixth in the Elums at 6 5, enough to not only avoid missing the quarters, but a twice to beat disadvantage as well. The Beermen weathered a 23 point first half deficit to beat an equally talented TNT Catropa side in game one. San Miguel then went on to sweep TNT before surviving a tough Alaska squad that embraced a no-quit attitude. We have championship pedigree, Ross said. No matter how we started, we righted the ship. So we knew that going down 0-3 was gonna be tough for us, and our goal in the eliminations was to try to get into a series, no matter what, and get out of the twice-to-beat disadvantage. And as long as we are in a series, we felt comfortable with that. We played a really good TNT team, and we picked up momentum from that, and we played a really good Alaska team that was no. Two in the eliminations. We were able to get them. Eliminations is a different story playoffs, long pause, everyone's locked in, everyone's mentally focused, everyone's physically ready, so playoffs is a different beast for us, and we always welcome the challenge. The final challenge begins this week, when San Miguel faces either Barangay Ginebra or Rain or Shine in the best of seven titles series.